Two years ago, we booked a gîte in Burgundy, France, not too far from Ota. We had only planned two things, a visit of the Musée Romain and a visit of the castle of Guédelon. The gîte was in the middle of nowhere, so we had to do our shopping in Luzy. On the way back, we encountered several road signs pointing to the triptychs of Terno. We got curious and went to check them out. Terno is a small village consisting of just a few houses, a castle and a church. The church is dedicated to St. Rochus and is mostly empty, apart from two large medieval altarpieces. One of these altarpieces, the altarpiece of the Virgin, was commissioned by Philippe de Ternau, Chamberlain of Philip de Coot, Duke of Burgundy. Philippe de Ternau became one of the first knights of the Order of the Golden Fleece in 1430, right at the start of the Order. He was married to Isabeau de Roy, lady-in-waiting of the Duchess of Burgundy. Philip spent a lot of time in Flanders, where he took part in many Burgundian battles and tournaments. He lived in Bruges most of the time. Flanders is also where he probably commissioned the altarpiece. Olivier de la Marche describes him as a valiant knight of a good length with a tanned face and a large black beard. The altarpiece of the Virgin was ordered for the chapel of Philip's castle. It was made between 1444 and 1454, the year Philip died. It depicts scenes of the life of the Virgin, both painted and sculpted. On the left and right, the donors Philip and Isabeau are depicted. Philip is wearing the color of the golden fleece. Philip is presented by John the Baptist and Isabeau de Roy is assisted by St. Catherine of Alexandria. The altarpiece of the Passion of Christ on the other side was probably commissioned by Charles de Ternau in 1460. This one is also a combination of sculpture and oil paint. Charles was the son of Philip and grew up with Charles the Bold. The altarpiece was meant for the altar of the new church of Terno. It depicts scenes from the Passion of Christ. This altarpiece is probably the work of a Brabant atelier, probably from Brussels. On the middle panel, Charles de Ternau and his wife, Jeanne de Vienne, are depicted. The church is not as old as the triptychs. It was built in 1820 with materials that came from the demolished medieval church. When we were there, access to the church was free, but you'll need a two euro coin to turn on the lights. At the same time, a recording will start to play with information about the triptychs. The panels are behind glass and the lighting is not great, so sorry for the bad quality of the images. Nevertheless, two wonderful pieces of medieval art and certainly worth a detour.